Hi there, Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Christy, from In The Stars by Christy.com. Now, um, for the month of September, a lot of things are going on, and many Cancers out there is going to be feeling the impact and changes that this month is about to bring. Now, without any further ado, just let's just go ahead and dive into this again remember that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every cancer people out there just keep that in mind okay so we have here the first card with the king of cups and i kind of feel that many many times whenever i get this card this is like a very huge representation of what cancers are all about so king of cups has a lot to do with our own emotions and how we control them and keep them inside of us it could be you know um telling us that a specific male is in is of great importance this can also be you where in your your way of handling your emotions is you know about to explode out in the open you are feeling quite a lot of things and because the top of the deck we do have the ten of swords i would say that maybe you are at the point wherein there is something that has been very harsh or disappointing has been in your mind it could be something that you're feeling internally as well or it could be a scenario that makes you feel depressed as a whole it is being crossed over the king of cups being crossed over by the three of pentacles which is all about you know maybe you are at the point wherein there is emotional block when it comes to, to communication where wherein you want to express what you truly feel but for some reason this is not really panning out very well it could be that the way that you express your own emotions is creating some form of problems into your relationships or you are unable to actually express what you truly feel this might just blow up this month though because of all of the energies that we have and i kind of feel that for the cancer that i'm reading for during this time you know they are at the limit right? you know they have been very very much patient with with other people i guess and they are now at the point wherein there are just some things that can they cannot tolerate anymore and the foundation card of this reading we do have the magician card which is again has a lot to do with communication and our own thoughts and this is at the point wherein you know you you are about to break free on something you are about to take your power back i would say in the near in the recent past we do have the king of wands as well this could be you know the king of wands is actually a very wonderful card but when when we are talking about love life and relationships it has an, an energy wherein it can be a devil may care wherein they don't really um show you or tell you what will make you feel good so you might be dealing with a person who is not um very much as ex expressive or maybe you are wanting something from them and they are not very much giving that to you and that is causing some form of problems in terms of the relationship either way they do care about you though it does show up like this here in the near future we do have the nine night of cups i would say and this has a lot to do with good news and good tidings about to come this can also be a situation wherein someone is going to enter your life or some form of news is going to come in for you there is a lot of seriousness and maturity into this reading you have the emperor card which is you know this is actually a very indecisive card and but at the same time it has a lot to do with maturity and responsibility in place you probably are in a situation right now wherein you feel that you have to do what is right you have to you know maybe if there are things that were that you want to say but you were not able to say but felt as if you should say it this could be the time that you will actually express yourself even though that at first you feel that you should just give away or uh, 
play the good guy, the good girl, something like that. I just kind of feel that oh, there's going to be some form of major lessons that allows you to be a lot free as well. So there's going to be like, I kind of feel that there's an energy for a karmic situation here, especially if you are in a karmic relationship, soulmate relationship. There could be something very much important that is going to manifest into your relationships all at the same time. Also, um, selfishness could be a theme also in terms of your love life and relationships right now because we do have the four of pentacles. Now, it doesn't mean that the four of pentacles is a very selfish card. It's just that this could be a scenario wherein maybe you are thinking that the other person might be being too selfish or maybe you know if you are reflecting upon yourself are you thinking that sh if i express myself will this will this make me very selfish it doesn't have to be that way of course but um yeah these are the things that can actually manifest i just kind of feel that there is something that you're holding on very much it could be your own emotions it could be what you are truly feeling inside of you but now is the time to actually make some form of changes with that because we do have the judgment card as the overall card of the reading for you cancers out there so something is being tested something needs to change and we also have the wheel of fortune as the last card of the deck so this makes me feel that you know whatever it is that you're keeping inside of you you have been doing that for quite a long time but there are just some things right now that you cannot keep holding on to anymore especially you know if the give and take in the relationship is very much in balance you might want to do something to correct this or you might do something to to shift the energy into this to make it more fair and equalized in the relationship setup overall this gives us an energy wherein there could be some form of um, increase of communication to come in and some form of growth and de development in, in when it comes to relationships. It's just that um, it will take a lot of hard work and a lot of courage to actually initiate the change first. So um, again, this is actually very interesting as well because first of all, we do have the sacrifice card and also we have here suffering in silence so i think that that is very ironic because what i was saying earlier is that maybe you're keeping everything inside of you and now it's maybe you are at the point where it's now too painful you know this silence this cold treatment that maybe you are getting from your partner or whatever situation you are, that you are in is really um killing you you know not literally but it's the feeling that kills you one way or another so you might need to do something about that to express yourself to be a lot more freer and you know to have some form of balance in the relationship of course um even though that we do see some form of improvement that might happen in the relationship one way or another this can also manifest in some form of mental conflict here so it could also be a, um, a message that is telling us that your deliberation might take a lot of time. You know, you might be, you know, confused with your own, your own emotions and what you are feeling inside of you. So there's like clashes here and there that is happening and making everything squishy in terms of your own feelings and how you are going to be expressing them. I would say that this could be a month where in some form of change can happen in terms of your relationship and hopefully it is going to happen in a positive and wonderful way either way we do have this judgment card so it does it is telling us that whatever stagnant situation that you are in you need to work on that you need to do something with that so that you know the scales will be tipped off and where that um, relationship or situation lead is going to be another story as a whole but here we are seeing that um, enough is enough and you have to express what you truly feel in a very powerful way so that your voice will be heard because you know um, sometimes the other person will not be able to really notice things if you ju you're just keeping silent 
So yeah, maybe this is the time to to act and do something about it, cancers. So um yeah, uh, we have here um the fifth house activation with my astro dies, and moon in the sign is Aries. So this can actually make you very moody, and at the same time, and given to you are very much given into emotional reactions all at the same time. So it's so easy for you to to act and react especially in a very emotional level so this will help push you to actually express yourself if you are having a hard time expressing what you truly feel so um yeah this is my reading for all of you cancers out there i hope you guys find this reading helpful and has some form of insight and guidance that can help you throughout the month all at the same time if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet uh, please do like, share, and subscribe to this video and to this channel. Um, that will really, really very much help me um, in making videos like this one in the near future. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, I'll see you guys again next month.